Hi, my name is Megan Buford, and for my 2011 Math Fair project, I decided to build a catapult. My purpose was to see how the weight affects the speed of an object. First thing I did was gather about, about six balls. I chose to use a bouncy ball, a wiffle ball, a ping pong ball, a full ball, a golf ball, and a foam ball. They all are approximately the same size, just different weights. First thing you're going to want to do is measure the weight of each object and record your findings. Then you're going to want to formulate her hypothesis. Mine was, if multiple objects of approximately the same size are thrown from the same catapult, then the heaviest object should go the furthest at the highest rate of speed. Then I, wanted, I gathered up my catapult, my stopwatch, two yardsticks, a pen, and a paper. Then headed outside. The first thing you want to do is to make sure you set your catapult on a level surface, otherwise it could potentially skew the results. Make, your, make sure your stopwatch is ready, then set your first object in the catapult and pour the arm all the way back. As you release the arm of the catapult, start your stopwatch. Do not stop the stopwatch until the object hits the ground and then record your time. Measure from the end of the catapult to where the ball hit the ground. Notice that the ball may hit the ground and roll a little bit, but do not measure the final resting place only where the ball initially hits the ground. Record your measurements. You're going to have to repeat the last two steps for each individual object. Once you have done each ball, start the process again making sure to launch each ball a minimum of five times each to get accurate results. Now it's time to calculate your speed for each individual throw. Remember that your speed is distance over time. So you're going to take the distance and divide it by the time of each individual throw. Then group your times or your speeds by each individual ball and find the mean distance and speed for each object. You're going to then compare this data to your hypothesis. I personally have found that the experiment proved that the highest weight does not necessarily mean that the highest speed. Even though the golf ball was the heaviest object and it did go the farthest, the full ball traveled the highest rate of speed.